the Bible is the mark of the beast. Now the Lord wanted me to explain to you about the anointing, the power. So today, I'll explain to you my power. Jesus told me, he said, you are anointed to preach this word. The Bible is an idol. The Bible is the mark of the beast. He said, my spirit is upon you to do this. Now he also told me, and I have the record on this. He said, you came through more devils than any Christian in history to bring forth a word. Now that's the truth. I came through 2 billion, 300 million Bible worshipers, a billion Koran worshipers, a billion Gita Cow worshipers, a million Buddha worshipers to bring forth a word of God in this world that Satan controls. I have the record up till now. I don't know what the two witnesses will have when they come. But I come through more devils to bring this word than anybody else. I'm anointed to do this. This is my place on earth. This is my power. Jesus told me, he said, I will deliver you like I delivered Israel. And he told me his voice would be heard again in the land and that the sons of God would be manifested. Now, I want to teach the Holy Ghost children some about how this works and so you can help if you want to add some treasures for yourself in heaven. You help with this and you become witnesses and I'll teach you about the Holy Ghost in just a minute. He does, but Pumpkin has a a, a dream, a vision that she had about us and I want her to uh, to tell it. I just want to first give Jesus all the glory. We can't do any of this of ourselves. It's all by His sufficiency and His grace and His power and the knowledge is all, all to Him. All of us are nothing but, but what He gives us. Anyway, the, in this dream, we'd been to a church the night before and Harlan had been telling them that Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John were under the Old Covenant. And we were coming back to the church the next morning. They weren't having services that morning, but they, um, they didn't... Uh, Received this message, of course, and I went on into the church. Nobody was in there, but um, I was walking around in the church picking up Bibles and putting them in a stack in my arm. And this dark looking spirit, he looked something like a voodoo priest or something, kept jumping around all over, you know, trying to distract me and to keep me from doing what I was doing. And I couldn't hardly really think clear. And I was going to be writing about Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John in, in these Bibles. But the spirit kept jumping all around. And everywhere I'd go, he'd pop in here and he'd pop over there. So as I went around this church and I picked up a stack of Bibles and I was over towards the door and I heard Harlan yell out. And so I just dropped the stack of Bibles on a pew and I ran outside around to the side of the church. And these three preachers wearing white shirts, they had Harlan, one of them <laughs> had him had his shoulders like this. One of them had his arms were outstretched. One of them had this arm and the other one had that arm. And the one in the middle was pushing down on him. And Harlan was resisting, pushing up. And when I got there I said, Take your hands off him, you filthy devil. <laughs> and they um, let go of him. And the biggest preacher there, he said, We're not evil. And uh, then we went over towards the church, and we passed this woman, this religious-looking woman, and she said, I'm not evil. And we went back into the church building, and Harlan sat down by that stack of Bibles that I'd collected, and he started writing about Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, his old covenant. And he said, Jesus gave me authority to tell this. And that demon was gone. I didn't see him anymore. So Jesus gave me authority to tell this. Now let me explain this to you Holy Ghost people that's starting to come out now and waking up and you're getting out of the prisons with stained glass windows. This is the way this works. I'm not an apostle. I'm not a prophet, evangelist, a pastor, or a teacher. I'm a witness for Jesus. Now I can prophesy. I have prophesied. I can heal the sick. I've done that. I have cast out devils. But let me tell you how it works. When the Holy Ghost touches you, now here, like Peter and John went up by the lame man many times going to the temple. But one day they stopped because Jesus spoke to them like he spoke to me. 
He said, you're anointed to preach this. And so they stopped him, and, they, and Peter said, such as I have, give I thee. He had a word from, from Jesus, and this is the way it works. He done it by faith. He said, do you heal the sick by the hearing of faith or by the law? You see, now watch the Pentecostal people. They, are, they have a doctrine of devils. They lay hands on everybody, and it's just a, a doctrine of a demon. They don't heal very many people, but you don't do that. You lay hands on who the Holy Ghost tells you to, and they'll be healed. And I've, I've seen people heal, and miracles happen. But he would speak to me by the Holy Ghost. So that's the way it'll be with us today. He speaks to you by the Holy Spirit. Now Jesus speaks to me at different times. He is the ultimate authority to us. He's our king, one that died for us. Now he told me, he said, you're like John the Baptist or me or any of the others that was anointed. He said, the Spirit of God is upon you to tell this word that the Bible is the mark of the beast. Now let me explain to you. I'm the only one I know in the world today that has a word from God. Pumpkin has a command from God because he wants this to be told that this don't have no authority from him. This has its authority from Constantine and Queen James. It has no authority from Jesus Christ. This is not his authority. I don't claim not one word out of this for my faith. Peter walked on the water. Well, I don't walk on the water. That has nothing to me. Uh, a little woman touched Jesus' garment. He said, your faith made you whole. I don't have nothing to do with me. That was his words to them. And that's why the Bible is just a history of what God done with somebody else. has no authority, no power, nothing. And all churches is built on this. All people say, I tell you by the authority of God's word. It don't have any authority. Now it had authority with King James in them, and it has authority in the flesh. They, they could put the Quakers in jail for saying it's an inner light. It's, it, we have a more sure word of prophet, and not the Bible. But they had the power of the king and queen James. The but devil. They, <laughs> yeah, the devil. They don't have power from God. I have power from God to tell you this. This is why I made it through. Because his spirit was upon me. He's the one that made it through in me. So you're going to be the same way. You that are taking up your cross now, you can see this truth. You're going to be, if you want to lay up treasures in heaven, you'll be overcoming more devils than any Christians in the history of mankind. This is your last call. See, if they can't overcome the mark of the beast, and you know they can't, most of them can't hear this, the devil's got his seed in them, and they can't do it. This is your last call to come out, because we're getting ready for that great day. And when Jesus speaks, he's a king, king of kings. And he spoke to me, he said, the anointing's upon you, just like John. Why was John out in the wilderness, crying out in the wilderness, make straight to pass along, because the anointing was on Why would I always be going up and down the road with the no tent? I said, Lord, where am I going? What am I doing? Why am I doing this? I'd be in Brazil. I'd be in Canada. I'd be in Mexico. I'd be all over America. Why? Because God was in me. God's in me. That's my power. That's the power I take. And it's him that does it. It's not me. But I made it. And even Pumpkin, she come in. She's got power because she has a command from the Lord. She shook hands with Jesus. That's just the way it works. You get your anointing. Your faith comes by what Jesus tells you. If Jesus tells you to lay hands on somebody, they'll be healed. Do it by faith. Don't do it. See, we work by faith. It's what Jesus tells us to he told me these words. He told me the Bible's the night the Bible's the mark of the beast. And he told me to preach. He told me Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John is old covenant. And people know that's true. But they can't believe it because it makes the Bible a lie. This has no authority in our kingdom. None at all. Only the anointing has authority. We have authority to tell you this. This is my power. And uh, the Apostle Paul said, If you uh, are looking for a proof of my authority in the gospel... You see, I have authority to do this. I made it through. It's been 51 years. Next year I've been in this. 45 years. Look how long it took me to get through. Man, I come through every barnyard in the world to get here. I mean, I've been everywhere and been kicked out of everything and hated by everybody. But the word got through. And it's out today. He got this word through. He said, you come through more devils than all other Christians in history. Paul would preach to people that never heard about Jesus. Well, I never done that. I went through <laughs> 700 million uh, Bible worshipers. I mean, they're everywhere. So this is my power that God gave me. You join in and let's get this work done. This is Jesus. This is his last movement until 
uh, he starts shaking the earth. And let's do it, and let's do it for Jesus. In Jesus' name, this is my power.